Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everybody. My name is Maya the King, and the Middle Ages were called the Dark Ages because there were too many knights. Now then, today we're going to take a look at a highly anticipated game just released on Steam called Let's School. Why is this game so highly anticipated? Because it's developed and published by the same people who brought you the hit games such as My Time at Portia and My Time at Sandrock. That's right, developed by Pathia Games, or Pathia Games, or however they want you to pronounce that, and published by Same and PM Studios. Here they bring us another game, not even remotely like those previous ones that I mentioned, where you play as the headmaster of some school somewhere, released not in early access and selling for 20 American dollars. So, in this game you play as a headmaster who takes over an older school that they loved when they were younger. It's all run down and broken, but because you love it so much you decide to take on the challenge of bringing the school back up to its glory days. With a pretty awesome and hilarious character creation system letting you fully customize who you want to play as. I created a super tall, super skinny weirdo with a space tracksuit and a big old bushy beard. Anyway, I'm excited for this game because of its developers and I can't wait to see how it goes. Now then, as always, we're going to go into the good and the bad, followed by my final thoughts. Up first, the good. So the first thing I really liked when I opened up the game was the music. It's just so cheerful and bouncy and bubbly that I just loved it. The sound effects are kind of missing here and there, but overall they were adequate whenever I did hear them. As for the music, like I said, it was just beautifully cheerful and I loved it. Fits the theme perfectly, and I, my toe was even tapping to it, and you guys are going to love it too. The next positive that jumped out to me was the art style. It's not overly detailed in some places, and it, in some it looks like it's a bit lacking, but for the most part, it was all very colorful in a tasteful, non-overpowering kind of way, with great contrast and attention to detail in some parts. The art style is just cutesy and goofy, and fits the theme and the feeling and the music that this game is going for, so, you know, I really liked it, and I thought that it just fit perfectly with this game and what they were trying to do. The next positive I have is that price tag, a fully fleshed out released game. Love to see it amidst all these early access games to take a look at, and with how much is here along with the amount of time and replayability options, that $20 price tag is just a beauty to witness, very much appropriately priced. Hell, it might even be a little bit underpriced. Next up is the gameplay. This will also be in the negatives, but for now it's in the positives. Overall, it's pretty interesting and deep. It has a lot of stuff for you to mess around with. You can hire teachers, hire students, that's right. You hire students. Anyway, you can customize the school the way you want, hire teachers the way you want, assign them how you want, run your school the way you want to, and the game gives you all of the options you need to make that happen. With tons of different furniture, temperature control aspects, little nuances you can add to a room to make it more efficient or just more looking like, you know, a room you would expect. And I could keep going with all that stuff that's included here for you to fiddle around with to make it the best damn school you can. By the way, if you hear anything in the background, I apologize. There's a big storm over my house right now. It has speed functions, pausing functions, management functions, cleanliness, food, water, bathrooms. I mean, it's almost like running a theme park, but it's a school. And basically, you get two different types of currency. And I mean, technically you get more than that, but I'm just kind of dividing them into two basics. You've got money from tuition from the students, which you use to train your teachers so they can be better teachers, to pay for furniture, new buildings, expanding the overall large building of your school, and then you've got the tuition points, or learning points, or knowledge points, whatever they're called. These are important because they're used for various things, not least of which is the school reputation, which comes with its own rewards and benefits. See, you have to teach your students, and every Friday they have an exam, which you can watch, and it's kind of cool to see. See this? Look at him. Look at them kids, they're working so hard for all they did. But anyway, throughout every day, up until Friday, where they have their exam, you see the learning points that they're gaining, and you have these little meters that show you how close they are to passing the exam that they're going for, and so you as the headmaster in control of the teachers and whatnot, it's your job to make sure they pass and make sure the teachers are trained, make sure the students have the right classes and the right schedule, so that way they can get where they need to be. Because you know, the kids don't get there without the help from the faculty. Anyway. Then they graduate if they pass, and they'll go on to the next year. But the game also has other little nuances to the game, like things where the kids will be secretly playing video games in the corner, and you need to send a teacher to break it up. Or the headmaster, that's you, has to give a speech to your students, either encouraging their good behavior or scolding their bad behavior. It's really in-depth and immersive, with a lot of little things just scattered here and there, to name a few, that just make it feel more realistic and to keep you on your toes while you're playing. And last but not least is the stability. I heard online that there are still a few bugs from other players and glitches and whatnot, but for me when I played it, the only glitch I saw was my students walking through some walls. I don't know why, I don't know how, but other than that, I mean the game never crashed, it never froze, never even dropped frame rates. So that was awesome. In other words, for me at least, it was a pretty stable freaking game. But now I gotta go into the negatives. I know, I know, I hate this part as much as you guys do, but before that, please hear me out. 
The only way my channel grows is if it gets views. See, the more views I get, the more YouTube extends the chains which keep me imprisoned in the dark zone of YouTube where no one sees the light of day. If I get more views, I get more length on those chains, and then more people can see my content. So please, share my videos, along with leaving me a comment, and hit that subscribe button. All these things really help my channel to be seen, and one day, hopefully, I can break out of those chains and not need to worry about it no more. And have you heard of my same day reviews? They're pretty impressive if I say so myself. You make a request of a game that you're interested in buying and playing somewhere on my channel in the comments section and I'll buy that game, review it, and post the video on that same day to help you out. You know, unless I already put out a video that day because, you know, I got other stuff I gotta do and I'm not a machine, so hey, try it out. Now then, on to the negatives. Now don't get me wrong, this is a pretty damn good game, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention the bad things too. So first up, the tutorial. It's, well, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. It has this bad habit of telling you only some of what you need to know. Like the game will say to make sure the management office has a class under its purview, but doesn't tell you how to check it, or how to do it, or where it is, or what menu you need to use, or how to understand what specifically they're asking for. Overall, I played for over an hour, and you know, over an hour and a half, sorry. And I'm still completely lost. The entire tutorial is, is, is like this, with, with minimal pop-ups, and in some menus it won't even let you inspect the icons. It makes it very hard to figure out what is what here. I hate to say it, but the tutorial isn't very helpful in some areas here, and it's very frustrating. The next negative I have is a bit of a nitpick, but I wanted to say it anyway. The controls. I mean, for the most part they're fine, but it won't let you move the screen and rotate it at the same time. You have to move the screen, then rotate, then move the screen, then rotate, then zoom in, realize you got it wrong, rotate again, move again, just to be able to see what you want to see in detail so you know how to place or do something. It's just awkward. Plus, attaching things to walls sometimes doesn't work, and well, okay, so when you want to place something on a wall, like it'll stick to it, like snap to it, know what I mean? But if two rooms are too close together, the game has a very hard time trying to figure out where or how you want to place that thing on the wall. So now you gotta fight with the awkward camera controls to try and get the perfect angle so you can get that item placed exactly where you wanted it. The next negative I have is the gameplay. The game can be a bit overly complicated sometimes, and I hate when games are needlessly overly complicated. They want you to manage students, manage the teachers, manage the research, make sure everyone is kept happy with break rooms, tea rooms, and, and whatever. Most of this sounds fine, right? But they also want you to manage cleanliness, teaching schedules, different types of classes for different rooms using different teachers for specific students. They want you to have offices to manage classes, but I don't even know what that does because I'm still the one managing the class, so why did I do that? They want boys and girls bathrooms, break rooms, tea rooms, each of them needing specific furniture, specific lighting, specific scheduling, and even research for newer stuff. And trust me, I could keep going. I haven't even, this it's all just a drop in the bucket of all the different stuff that you need to manage here. And it can be overwhelming and a bit needlessly so. The game will give you errors, but no way on how to fix it, like they want you to plan out a new schedule for year two students. So you go to do that. Everything looks fine, but then a couple of classes at the end will just be read it out for some reason. The game won't explain it or tell you how to fix it, and the game keeps yelling at you that something is wrong without specifically telling you what is exactly the problem or even how to fix it. So it has its issues. On to my final thoughts though. I mean, Overall, despite the negatives I said, I still think it's a pretty good game. It's very well designed, and it's a really interesting concept with a very goofy, cutesy kind of tone built around it. It's an interesting idea that was very well executed. But it's a lot more complicated than I originally thought and needs a bit more polishing, and I wish the tutorial was just more clear so I could understand the specifics of what's wrong and how to fix it. I'm sure with more time I'll get the hang of it, so if you were looking for a simple game to just lose yourself in for a little while, you're gonna have to actually put in a few hours of work first to figure out what you're supposed to do and how. Learn the game and spend the time, otherwise this game will frustrate you as you fumble around aimlessly trying to figure out what to do. I mean, why give me three quests in the tutorial all requiring research before I can progress? So my students are wasting away, unable to progress in their studies, destined to fail their next exam that week because I need to research those three things first before I can do something that I don't even know to fix the issue. For some reason my teachers cannot teach the next studies that my year two students need. No explanation and no solution given to me. So I fumble around trying to figure out what it is and by the time I do the week is gone, the students have failed and the whole point of building a positive reputation is dashed in my second week. And I still have no idea what's going on. It's a really good idea, a really good game, but it needs more direction with a better tutorial. Do I recommend this game? Absolutely. It's still a really good game at a really great price. And maybe I just missed something and it's my fault. Just know what it is that you're getting into before you make a purchase and before and, and make sure that you pay attention while you're learning it. Alright everybody? 
Okay, so that's all the time I got for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you all again on my next adventure. So until then, I bid you all farewell.